everybody, this is Pastor Paul. Greetings to you in Jesus' name. The other day, my wife was riding on a subway train, and in one of the stops, a man came in and sat nearby her. She noticed that this man did not seem to be in his right mind, and that he was cussing and swearing and looking rather angry and rough. But every now and then, he would say something about God or mention the name of God. Naturally, my wife felt disturbed in her spirit, and so she thought she would move away from this fellow because it's rather unpleasant to keep hearing this fellow keep spewing out whatever that he was spewing out of his mouth. Then she had an impression that this fellow was very tormented. So instead of moving away, she decided to use her authority and under her breath, she started to rebuke all the tormenting spirits over this man and begin to pray for peace and comfort over him. As soon as she started doing that, she noticed that the man stopped cussing and the countenance on his face started to become more relaxed. And soon after that, he went to sleep. Friends, do you realize that there is a lot of hurt around us? Most people would never display the suffering of torment like this man on the subway did. But it's nevertheless there. You and I are given amazing authority to bring healing and comfort to our surroundings. Sometimes we may need to lay hands on the sick to bring healing. Sometimes we may need to speak a word of comfort to the brokenhearted. Or sometimes we can just do what my wife did. Exercise our authority without making a scene but subtly under our breath to bring peace and comfort to the tormenting souls that we often encounter in our surroundings or environment. Whatever it is, the world around you is waiting for someone to relieve them of their pain, from their torment, and from their suffering. Jesus has given you and I all the power and authority to do so. Would you then consider using your authority this week to bring comfort and healing to your surrounding? Well, I hope this message has encouraged you. If you're able to, please join us this Friday for a time of worship and fellowship. And we have programs for the youth, young adults, and the adults. The youth will start leading worship at 7 p.m. Otherwise, I'll see you this Sunday at 10.30 a.m. for another incredible time in the presence of God. Thank you again for watching, and may the Lord richly bless you.